Dharaville is an intentional township in South India with 50 years of experience. Currently, it includes over 2,700 residents from 53 nationalities. I randomly asked a wide diversity of over 70 people, pioneers, Oravillians, newcomers, volunteers and guests, four simple questions. Where are you from? I was born in Orville, but both my parents come from Israel, and I've lived in both places a few years, but I feel like I belong here. Tasmania. Estonia. America. USA. Kazakhstan. France. Brazil. From Rio de Janeiro. Both my parents are French, but I was originally born in India and brought up in Orville, and I've lived here my whole life. Belgium. Germany. Japan. I'm from Germany. Born in Orville. Kanpur, India. Colombia. Korea. I was born here, so I'm from Orville. Russia, from Moscow. London. Spain. France. I'm from Quilapalliam. Pondi. Israel. Lucknow, India, Uttar Pradesh. Germany. Orville. Pondicherry. I grew up in Ahmedabad. Italy. India. France. Spain. Orville, Courage Community. I was born in England, but my mother is from India. And my mom comes from Germany, my father from Spain, and I have born on the border between France and Italy. I'm coming from Orville. France. Germany. Italy. Chennai. Hi, I am uh, from Brooklyn, New York. I'm half Italian and half Indian. Originally from Germany. Canada. The United States. I grew up in the Midwest. My parents are actually Indian, and I live in Orville. Italy. I'm from Sweden. I'm from Orville. Quebec. Gujarat. Krasnodar. I'm French. Orville. Germany. Pondit. India. Italy. From England. From Rotterdam in Holland. Italy. The San Francisco Bay Area of California in the United States of America. I'm part Spanish and part Russian and part Estonian. I'm from Oroville. Why are you here in Oroville? I'm here in Oroville because I was born here, but I consciously decided to stay because I feel that Orville is a great big laboratory with lots of experiences and research going on and I really want to contribute to this exploration. Very nice, very green, very good people, that's why. For a dream. I had the dream and I find out that there was our villa. God grace or the divine grace. I'm here just for visiting but we're not in India because of the state of USA with Donald Trump. Not so good. I've heard so much about the city, I wanted to see it for myself. I don't know yet. Mixture of all country people, not like a single country people. Plus it's full of trees and nature. I always love teachers, uh, mother and Sri Aurobindo. So I, I'm with, in love with the project Auravila also. I was a refugee looking for a home. To serve? To explore Auravila. Yoga. I was born here and I love living here. Because I saw mother. I didn't like my old school. Because I just feel. I have to be here. I wanted to change my life. It's the only place with trees, I guess. The education. A friend. Because the universe pushed me here. Because I believe in the charter of Oroville. So that I could be awesome every day. For the transformation and building the city. Karma. My mom came here as an architecture intern and she really liked the place. And then my dad also came here and they met and they really liked it here. And then I was born here, so I live here. Exploring possibilities, actually. Community living together all for following deeper spiritual values and what would that manifest. The energy attracted me from the first minute onwards. I'm here in Oroville because I believe in the dream. To work. I'm looking for the divine consciousness. I want to see my life in new form. Because my parents are here and I also like Oroville so I want to stay here. Destiny. To experience the whole life <laughs> and where it is going. Here to find out what's happening here and see what I can do to contribute. I was born here to follow a dream. Because it's the most interesting place on the planet for me to learn about myself and other people. Because mother brought me here. Because of my soul. The soul's call. We heard a lot about this place and we all together came here to check out, I mean, what actually this place is and I mean, this is very good. Wow, because of the dream, of course. <laughs> because I got very inspired by everything that was happening and also especially to yoga, also the idea, the approach. I I'm still inspired after almost 40 years. My grandparents brought me here. My parents were born here and I was born here and later I chose to live here too. Just to relax and uh, open maybe a new opportunity for myself. Because I've heard about the idea of it and I like it. It was the soul's choice to come to Oroville and I've always been interested in Sri Aurobindo's yoga. I like it and I enjoy being here. To wake up with surrounded by people who are motivated to work together. I feel free here. 
and I think it's an awesome place. To be home, to be myself, to explore myself and then to, to do it uh, with a collective. What do you bring to Auroville? I bring everything that I can give. I bring my, my dreams, my aspirations, as much energy as I can contribute. Happiness. Understanding. Myself. Goodwill. For now I'm just studying. Lots of tree planting, cooking for lunch for kids and bringing information programs for young people and for guests and for newcomers. And now helping to create houses for people. I'm working on a community building project with a group of friends and we're trying to build a new alternative experimental community within Warville itself where we're mainly going to experiment low-cost housing, self-sufficiency and true community spirit. The development of Auroville. My interest in wildlife and animals and stuff. My soul to change my nature. Courage. Skills. My dedication to the evolution of humankind. <laughs> Energy, goodwill. My soul. Happiness. My authenticity. Just stability. I plant birds and butterflies. Knowledge and spirituality and togetherness and humanity. Everything I can bring, but it comes. A little change in changing changes to help the community to develop and grow. Conviction about the right thing to do and to be at the right place. My energy, my art. My heart from Russia and a lot of ideas how to make the world better. My dear friend. The divine consciousness. Art. Dream. Uh, hope. My vision, my peace, motivation. I suppose I try to embody what Orville is about as best I can. Uh, what you bring, like um, everything. Not really everything, but I bring so many things. Like I brought my t-shirt, everything like, everything that you need. Me, myself, my skills, my talent, and the world to change. A good sense of humor. My belief. My heart, my passion and my know-how. I've been here since 1968, so um, I've been here my whole life almost. I was very young when I came. <laughs> I bring joy, I bring fun, I bring beauty, and I bring community. Basically, I offer my life, my life to all of Myself. Cycle. Aspiration. My creativity. Will to know and share. I try to help people understand each other better through writing articles in the newspaper. I write. Last play we did was a script written by me. It was inspired from the culture in Auroville. I have enthusiasm, hope, trust, happy thoughts and unity. I would like to bring like more trees, peaceful environment without any fights. How would you like to see Auroville in the future? I like to see Aurora in the future with lots more young people, very inspired, more collective, not like the general line that is more coming more and more into materialism, like everybody's individual house and car and and that lifestyle, but that really consciously choose a collective lifestyle without money. City with uh, all the people to be in it uh, that embodies the values of Mother and Shrubindo and that really integrate the locals from outside because right now I feel it's too bubbled up. This is perfect. I mean, this is the best thing I've ever seen and I mean, I would like to see it as it is. I'd like to see it complete. Bigger maybe? And more trees. <laughs> Big area for education, for progress and for development of people. To work as a family together. I don't know what is the future. <laughs> Uh, it's divine who is taking care of this, it's not my thing. Slow evolution, you know, taking time to digest everything. 50 years, a short period for a society. A little bit more harmonious, a little bit more honest, progressing a little bit faster than beforehand. We take too much time to think about it and fight about it and discuss it and it's not okay. There should be more open, there should be more involvement and more calling and more participation so that we can explore a lot of things and we can be a big example for all of them. More different place around the world. Expanded for the whole, for the whole world. Waking up, waking up. <laughs> because as a collective, it takes more time. <laughs> Not only here, all over the world. Living without money. Unified, more alive, more international, more populated, and even more innovative. What Sri Aurobindo has asked for, and that is the collective emergence of a higher consciousness. More open and free. Better. Where everyone is smart, there should not be any plastic. Like everybody should use like 
the dustbins? Not a lot of motorbikes. Mostly like some people can go by horses, for example. People getting like a long better. If everybody cooperates, then we can like manage so much more. More forests. And more buildings and things. Because right now it feels kind of dead. More kindness. I would like there to be better communication among all the uh, people in Oroville. Surprise me. I would like to see Oroville realized, the human unity. Line of force, lake, Siru, and Bissaria, and all the 50,000 people to come. Each one to do what they love to do, and to really have the opportunity to manifest their dream. Giving rather than taking. As a blooming spiritual society. Beautiful. Moving towards the ideal all together as a collective body. I'll find out when I get there. Blossoming. The same. Because the young people is the future of the world. Quieter. To become the city the earth needs. Is this what Sri Aurobindo and the mother visioned as the city the earth needs?